Good morning, world. Kurt Klaipier here with Teach Mom How. Today we're going to learn how to make a slideshow using the Photos app on your iPhone. This is the quickest, easiest, simple way to make a professional looking slideshow. It's not the most customizable way. I've got other videos you can check out that are far more customizable, but I love using this just to do a quick memory and a quick, hey baby, my baby's yelling, and a quick slideshow. So you'll enjoy this again. I do these videos for free for you, so please take the time to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell so that you get notified every time I put new content out. Let's get started. Now I'm going to show you how to make a slideshow using the, the iPhone Photos app. After that, I'll show you how to make a video with photos and pictures using Adobe Rush and using Google Photos. Those are the two apps that work on either iPhone or Android. So if you already have an, if you only have an Android, you're gonna skip ahead to the Adobe Rush or the Google Photos uh, tutorial. But I'm gonna now show you how to make a photo uh, slideshow on your iPhone Photos app. And this is super easy, guys. You just gotta open it. It does everything for you. This will take you no time to make a really cool looking little slideshow. Here's one I made in like two seconds, just to show you an example, okay? This is really cool, I actually really like this. So here's what we do. Come into the iPhone Photos app. It's this icon, let me show you. It's the little rainbow flower thing. That one right there, okay? Come into that and go down at the bottom where it says next to library, it says For You, click on For You. And they've already organized your memories into little categories based on the dates that they were taken and the um, location. Okay, so let's choose this one. Let's click on it. This was a little Christmas adventure. We went and saw the um, Jellystone lights. If you click this play button, it's going to download this and it's going to play it. Right? And if you like it like this, you're done. Okay but I'll show you how to customize it as well. Again, there's music on this. You just can't hear it because I'm recording. All right, so watch it. If you like that, you're good to go. Let's imagine I want to mix it up. Okay, there's different themes I can choose from that will change the look, sound, and feel of the video. Um, whatever I want those to be. Okay, we'll go with this one. And then, I can also edit it by clicking edit. And here's where I change the name of it under title. I'm going to change the name of to this of this to Jellystone Christmas. Lights. Okay. And then I can change which image I want to be first. That's actually a really good one, but I can look through here and see if there's a better cover image for this little video. And then under photos and videos, you can see I have 20 items. This is where I can add or delete photos. So if I click on the photos and videos, you'll see all of the photos and or videos that are currently in this video. Now, when we get to a video, there's a couple things you can do to customize this. You can choose to have the audio just be low, so you barely hear it over the music, or you can choose to have it be high, so you can hear it better over the music, and you'll have to just test and see which sounds better, or you can turn it off, okay? Off, low, high. That's the level of the audio from your video clip. And then these two yellow lines at the top, that represents your in and out points. So right now, it's you'll see that the duration of this is four seconds, top right, right by the done. You see that four S, that means four seconds. Click and drag this to make it longer on the back end. Click and drag the one on the left to make the end point or make where it starts longer, okay? I now made that 21 seconds long and turned up the audio. So that's in there, I can keep scrolling. Again, here's another video clip. I can change the audio level. I can play around with it, make it longer. If I choose to, just see what looks good. Keep going, these all look good. There's none I wanna delete. Let's suppose there's one that I don't like though, and I wanna delete it. I 
like all these those the thing see there's one that I like less all right just for the sake of this video we'll decide to delete this one so I click on this one all right and I just click bottom right corner of the trash button and it deleted that one clip now let's say I want to add some other clips into the video the plus button bottom left corner I click that plus button and you'll see all these clips and photos that are relevant to this memory that are from the same night and I can choose to add back in any pictures or videos that I like We'll add this one okay so there you go click done and click done again and you'll now see that I have 24 items in here that my total duration is 24 seconds I can make this longer that'll drag out how long the pictures are shown or I can make it shorter that'll make it shorter how long they're shown okay if you want to play with the duration you can but now I can test this by pushing play and I can watch it if it looks how I like it, if it's what I want, then I click done and I'm done editing my video. Now all I need to do is export it so I can share it. Again, you click this bottom left corner, you click this up arrow. And you could go straight to Facebook, but I highly recommend you don't. I always recommend that you save the video to your phone. See where that option says save video? You click that. So exporting my video to my phone, so it's going to be in my photos library. And from there, I can simply go to YouTube and Facebook and upload that video now, okay? So I'll show you again this in this video. Here's how you upload your video to Facebook. Okay, it finished exporting my video. Now if I flip over to my Photos app, <clears throat> go to my Photos app, go to All Photos, and down at the bottom, you'll see this three-minute video. That's the slideshow. That I just made. Again, there is music on it. You're just not hearing it because when I hook my camera up to record this or I hook my phone up to record this, it, it mutes the audio. So there you have it. That's the video. Now let's put this video onto Facebook and YouTube. So I'm going to click this share button right here. I'm going to go to Facebook. I'm going to choose whether I want it to be public or private. In this case, I'm going to put only me just because I don't want anyone to see this. This is just for to show you guys how to do this. You would want this to be at least where your friends can see it, I would guess. Um, write whatever you want to write about it. Click Next and share it. All right, I'm now uploading that to Facebook. As soon as it finishes, it'll process and then you'll be able to watch it on Facebook. All right, this is how you'll upload your video that you just made to YouTube. In this case, you're going to have to go to the YouTube app on your phone. Hopefully, I have it on my phone. You're going to need to log in as whichever user you want to be logged in as. And that'll work. Okay. Then you're going to click this little camera top right, click the camera and choose upload video allow access to all your photos click OK Okay, and find the slideshow we just made you could trim it and edit it if you wanted to but I'm going to put the whole thing up click next and name it what you want to do it add a description that's relevant decide if you want it public private or unlisted Comment below if you have questions about what those mean and add it to a playlist if you choose to. Then you click next. No, it's not for kids. Not that it's, this doesn't mean it's not for kids. This doesn't mean that it's like NC 17 or inappropriate. This just means I didn't make it specifically for kids. Click up and now it's going to upload my video.